today we're going to take a look at what are commonly referred to as mixture problems. Here we have a typical mixture problem. A health food store is selling a mixture of raisins and almonds and the raisins sell for $3.50 per pound and the almonds sell for $4.75 per pound. And right away here I'm going to transfer this information into our chart. Um, the raisins we know are $3.75 per pound and here we have the cost per pound and the almonds are 475 per pound and we're going to make a mixture that we're going to sell for for four dollars a pound so notice that the mixture um, is the price of the mixture is partway between the price for the raisins and the price for the almonds obviously if our mixture was all almonds our price would be 475 per pound now if our mixture was just consisting of raisins our mixture would be 350 a pound, but since we're using some of each, our price is in between the two prices of the individual items. And notice we're going to make a mixture that's 20 pounds, so we'll put 20 pounds here. So if we were to buy 20 pounds of the mixture at $4 a pound, the total cost for that mixture would be $80. So some of this $80 is coming from the cost of the raisins, and some is coming from the cost of the almonds. Now we don't know how many pounds of raisins we're going to have, so I'm going to say X. So let's say we were to use one pound of raisins. Then we'd use 19 pounds of almonds, since these have to add to 20. If we were to use two pounds of raisins, we'd have 18 pounds of almonds, once again, because these have to add to 20. So in order for me to figure out how many pounds of almonds I need, if I know the amount of raisins, I would just take 20 minus the number of pounds of raisins to get the number of pounds of almonds. And the total cost of the raisins depends on how many pounds of raisins we use. If I were to use one pound of raisins, if X was one, the cost would be 350 for the raisins. If I was to use two pounds of raisins, two times 350 would be seven dollars for the, the raisins. But we don't know how many pounds of raisins we're having yet, so we're just going to put 350 or 3.5 times X for the cost of the raisins. And we're going to do the same thing here for the cost of the almonds. The cost of the almonds is the number of pounds of almonds times the cost per pound. So here we have 475 times the quantity 20 minus X. So our mixture is based on raisins and almonds and we have a certain cost for the raisins and a certain cost for the almonds and together these add to $80. So to get our equation we're going to add in this last column. We're going to have the cost of the raisins is contributing to the mixture plus the cost of the almonds is contributing to the cost of the mixture and the total cost of the mixture is $80. So once we've set up the equation it shouldn't be too difficult to solve the equation. This is like stuff we've done earlier in the year. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is distribute the 475 to both the 20 and the minus x. So when we do that we have 95, be careful with the negative sign here, minus 475x equals 80. And then we're going to combine like terms on the left hand side here. 3.5x minus 4.75x gives us negative 1.25x. And then to get the x by itself we're going to subtract 95 from both sides. And when we do that, 80 minus 95 would give us negative 15. And then to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1.25. And when I do that, I get that x is 12. And that would mean that 20 minus x would be 8. In other words, we have 12 pounds of raisins and... 12 pounds of raisins and 8 pounds of almonds and that does add to 20 pounds let's just do a quick check here the cost of the raisins is 350 per pound which would give us $42 for the cost of the raisins and the cost of the almonds is $4.75 per pound so the almonds altogether would cost $38 and if we add these together 
we get $80 for the 20 pound mixture. So our answer is correct. We'll take a look at more problems like this in class tomorrow.